If you want to prepare for the licensure examination for teachers, you have to watch this video till the end, and answer professional education questions from the CBRC Yellow Book. You have 10 seconds to think and answer each items. After the question, answer is revealed followed by explanation. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so I can help you prepare for your exam regularly. Let's get started. Number 1. What is being shown by teachers who ignore slow learners and take pride in the work of fast learners? A. Hurling invectives. B. Discrimination. The best answer is B. Discrimination. Each items consists two options for you to choose. This will help increase retention and familiarize topics easier. In question number one, discrimination is shown by teachers because in this case, they are making distinctions between the slow learners and fast learners. Slow learners are discriminated for not catching up with the lesson. On the other hand, hurling invectives means throwing criticism in harsh and abusive language. Number two. What provides the most direct type of learning, but is difficult to supply in the traditional classroom? A. Real life experience. B. Multisensory instructional aids. The best answer is A. Real life experience. Through this, students learn through life situations making the topics more interesting. However the traditional classroom cannot always provide real-life experiences to students. Instead, instructional materials and educational technology are used to fulfill the needs of the learners. Number 3. Among thinking skills in learning, what includes fluent, flexible, original and elaborate thinking? A. Divergent thinking. B. Convergent thinking. The best answer is A. Divergent thinking. This is a process used to produce creative ideas and solutions on your own, by exploring and seeking further explanations in elaborative manner of thinking. While convergent thinking which is the opposite of divergent thinking. It is the ability to give the correct answer to questions that do not require significant creativity. Number 4. Of the following effects on learning, what is the effect of assigning various sections of the newspaper, and allowing to select depending on the learner's choice? A. Allowing different interests. B. Encouraging participation. The best answer is A. Allowing different interests. Giving students freedom to choose what type of content they are interested to work with means that the teacher is open to know the different interests of the learners. Next question. How can new information be made more meaningful to students? A. Relating it to knowledge they already know. B. Increasing retention of new knowledge. The best answer is A. Relating it to knowledge they already know. Meaningful learning means that the concept is fully understood, and can be used to make connections, or relate it to previously known knowledge for further comprehension. Next. Which of the following best relate to basic literacy to learners? A. Text-based learning. B. Field experience. The best answer is A. Text-based learning. Basic literacy is defined as the ability to read, write, and do arithmetic. This relates to text-based learning because it involves learning different text types and guides the student through production of text by means of scaffolding. 
Number 7. What is the initial knowing process learned by the individual that revolves around practical problem solving? A. Thinking. B. Listening. The best answer is A. Thinking. In order to solve a problem, it is important to undergo processes of critical thinking. Identify what is the problem, look at the problem at different angles or perspectives, and analyze it carefully. Brainstorm a list of possible solutions, decide what solution fits the best, and take action or implement your solution. Number 8. Which of the following is the best option to deal with chronic behavior problems in the classroom? A. Indicate consequences of behavior. B. Establish positive expectations for students. The best answer is B. Establish positive expectations for students. From the article Interventions for Chronic Behavior Problems, it consists a list of research regarding programs designed to prevent problem behaviors from recurring among children and adolescents with chronic behavior. This includes classroom management and teaching strategies. Teachers use proactive strategies to prevent behavior problem, such as using point or token, contingent reinforcement, and response cost. This means that teachers deliver positive stimulus events, like material goods and verbal praise. More importantly, contingent reinforcement eliminates negative stimulus events like penalties or consequences. Moreover setting expectations at the beginning of the year creates a better environment for students. Number 9. A burglary occurred in Jason's neighborhood. Since then, Jason is very careful of locking their doors and closing windows. What theory best explains Jason's behavior? A. Observational learning. B. Vicarious learning. The correct answer is B. Vicarious learning. This suggests indirect learning. According to the situation, he received information about the burglary from neighborhood, or from another person. Consequently, he learned to lock doors and windows to protect himself. Number 10. Among the components in the instructional framework for learning strategies, which is demonstrated by teacher Anna who assigns homework for students to do on their own. A. Independent practice. B. Consolidation. The best answer is A. Independent practice, which relates to students doing their own homework. Number 11. Someone said, experience without theory is blind, but theory without experience is mere intellectual play. What is the meaning of this statement? A. Theory and experience must go hand in hand. B. Theory is more important than experience. The best answer is A. Theory and experience must go hand in hand. Combination of practical and theoretical knowledge is necessary to master a field in holistic learning. Theoretical learning gives the guidance to the mind, and mind guides our body to convert the theoretical learning into practical performance. Theoretical learning is good, but not using that knowledge practically is of no use. Hence, it is very important to utilize the knowledge practically. Otherwise, there is no point to gain theoretical knowledge. So to have perfect learning experience one should gain both practical and theoretical knowledge. Number 12. Sequence the following events on the historical development of reading. 1. Greek letters and the Roman alphabet were developed. 2. Through the Semites ingenuity, sounds, and symbols gave rise to the Phoenician alphabet. 3. People used pictures and characters to convey messages. 4. Researchers showed the processes of reading, comprehension, and interpretation. A. 1, 2, 3, and 4. B. 3, 2, 1, and 4.
The best answer is B3, 2, 1 and 4. Over history, humans first method to represent their spoken words with written symbols, picture writing and characters. Examples are the Sumerians' cuneiform from 4000 BC, and Egyptians' hieroglyphics. In 2000 BC, Phoenicians developed the first methods to represent spoken language, the Phoenician alphabet, which contained consonants only. In 1000 BC, the Greek alphabet is the source for all modern manuscripts in Europe. It is considered to be the first world's true alphabet, where Greeks added vowels. In 700 BC, Roman alphabet is used for many modern languages. And lastly, the development of research applied the processes of reading to acquire ideas, understand concepts, and create something from reading. Number 13. Rob regularly practiced playing the guitar so he can finish book 1. His mother promised to buy him a Nintendo when he finishes book 1. How is Rob motivated? A. Extrinsically. B. Intrinsically. The best answer is A. Extrinsically. Extrinsic motivation refers to behavior that is driven by external rewards. That is, his mother promised to buy him a Nintendo. Number 14. According to Bronfenbrenner, what system contains structures that has direct contact with the child? A. Microsystem. B. Mesosystem. The best answer is A. Microsystem. According to Bronfenbrenner's theory, a microsystem is closest to the person and the one in which they have direct contact. Number 15. Some learners like to find specific and concrete answers. What kind of learners are they? A. Convergers. B. Assimilators. The best answer is A. Convergers. Convergers like to know how things work. Like to come up with an idea and test it to see if it is plausible. Like to work with concrete facts. Very precise in their work. Tweak small ideas to make changes to seek accuracy. Rely on practicality. Very good at taking multiple choice tests which have concrete answers. Operate through deductive reasoning to solve problem. And lastly, very independent and often prefer to work alone. Number 16. What is known as learning a new word by studying its roots and affixes? A. Morphology. B. Phonetic analysis. The best answer is A. Morphology. Morphology is the study of words, how they are formed, and their relationship to other words in the same language. It analyzes the structure of words and parts of words, such as stems, root words, prefixes, and suffixes. Number 17. Mr. Lorenzo would always give the chapter test on a Friday. What schedule of reinforcement is used by Mr. Lorenzo? A. Fixed interval. B. Fixed ratio. The best answer is A. Fixed interval. Fixed interval is a schedule, thus it is a rate at which the reinforcement is delivered or how frequently a response is reinforced. Interval is period of time, which suggests that the rate of delivery is dependent upon how much time has elapsed. Number 18. Marco excels in adding numbers. He learned this skill in his math class. He is now able to apply this skill in his music class. What type of transfer was used? A. Specific transfer. B. General transfer. The best answer is B. General transfer. It is the transfer of general skills or principles acquired in one task or situation to problems in a totally different field. 
Number 19. Kara is almost asleep when she felt the need to go to the bathroom. She tried to sleep it off but after a while, she was forced to stand up and go to the bathroom. What theory of motivation explains Kara's behavior? A. Expectancy value theory. B. Drive theory. The correct answer, B. Drive theory. People are motivated to take certain actions in order to reduce the internal tension that is caused by unmet needs. Kara was forced to use the bathroom to reduce the internal tension. Number 20. To what problem type do students belong, who have short attention span, unable to sustain concentration by being easily affected by sights, sounds or speech? A. Withdrawn. B. Distractible. The best answer is B. Distractible. This is the type of problem when students are easily distracted or affected by interferences such as sounds, which leads to lost focus. Thank you so much for sticking around. Please don't forget to click the subscribe button if you feel like you've gotten value so far. Give this a thumbs up and share this to your friends. If you want the summary of actual examination, go ahead and check this video shown in the end screen. I'm sure this will help you get ideas, keywords, and salient points for the exam. I'll see you, on the next video.